Hey guys, that one Brony258 here, back with more I Ninja. In the last episode, we defeated the first Hub World boss, Kaiza, and we got here to Bombay. This is Bombay. This is what it looks like. And in this episode, we are gonna go straight to uh, my least favorite level of the game. I, at least, yeah, this is this is probably the least favorite level. Shoot the ships. And yes, this is required. I hate this. Defend the bay from the incoming ranks battle cruisers. Nasty little things they are, too. Boats, make sure you crush them all. Well, that's all clear to me now. This is the only level where instead of hacking Welcome and slashing... to the Kiss Me Deadly Assault Cannon. It's Download basically, training uh, program. It's basically just a... Uh, shoe sting. With cannons. Test targeting the enemy craft. And of course, Try it's inverted. It Press down. Test fire your assault cannons. I don't want to. Try this. it now. It's easier to hit your target using the zoom function. Try it now. Oh wow. That That's good. a rank scout craft. Sink it before Where? it gives away your position. Oh. Try it now. Will this thing not be inverted? This is this is the worst part. Some boats will try. There's got to be a way I can invert this thing. Really? That's just like the worst Drop though. Power ups. Shoot pickups to collect them. Try it now. Good shooting. You got rapid fire. Start blasting as it only lasts for a limited time. Like, I'm spinning counterclockwise and it's going clockwise. Shoot this scout craft for some homing missiles. I don't like, like inverted controls. Now. You can hold up to five homing... Yeah, whatever. Lock on to yeah, this whatever. glider ranks. Try, Try it, it now. now. Glider ranks. Where the hell's the glider ranks? Where the hell is the glider ranks? It probably help if my TV wasn't, like, black right now. Oh, there it is. No. Protect yourself from incoming missiles by shooting them out of the sky. Okay. Try it now. You are locked and loaded and ready for action. Here come the reinforcements. Don't let a single boat reach the shore or their invasion will be complete. Awesome. Wave one. I think there's five waves. But this is my least favorite uh, level. Just because, one, the inverted controls. Uh, really, I hate inverted controls. I hate how up is down and down is up. Because, as you will see very shortly, it messes with my mind very quickly. So. Fire power shots. No, 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 no. Down. But I don't like this level mainly because of how it differs from all the other levels. And the inverted controls, I hate. The worst part, there is a challenge for this uh, level, and it is the one challenge. I will always, always, always regret doing just because of the. I don't like this level. Imagine trying to do this level, but much harder. Just ups the difficulty so much, and I hate this level. And I don't like it. And I will not stop talking about how much I hate this level. Zoom, even though it zooms in like a hundred percent. Still nice touch. I must say. I 
really have nothing more to say about this. Like, do you see what I'm doing right now? Do you see how I'm not being a ninja at all? And instead being some kind of turret? I don't... Way two. The only thing that saves this? That one music note. That's the only thing. In my opinion, that saves this... That saves any level in this game. That's not to say that all these levels suck. In fact, th this and maybe one or two later levels I'm not the biggest fan of. But there's another... There's more reasons than just... Well, I, I shouldn't say there's more reasons than the bad controls. Because for the most part, this game controls beautifully. I'm just not a big... <laughs> I'm, just, uh, I'm just really not a big fan of... Uh, of uh, inverted controls. Even the camera. You can't fix it. I wish they could... I wish you could fix it. If you could fix it... If you could fix the camera angles in this game... Uh, then this game would definitely... Th even this part, the part that I find the most infamous in this entire game, uh, it would be definitely, it would uh, be kind of cool. It would kind of ruin the atmosphere of just, you know, you're not a ninja, you're a turret kind of thing. It would ruin the atmosphere just a bit for me, but even still, it would be passable. See, yeah, I'm sounding like a dick, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm saying like, I love this game, but you know, it's stupid. Uh, but it's not stupid, but I don't like it. I don't even know what to say. If you do if you do find a copy of I Ninja, which I think will be very rare. If you do find a copy of I Ninja, I definitely suggest uh, you know, buying it, getting it, loving it, living it. I <laughs> as you may or may not tell, I have zero things to say right now. Just because of uh, like, what am I supposed to say? I've already said in great detail how much I don't like this level. And yet, that and it's tedious. It is tedious. It's tedious. As you can tell, I just passed wave two, I think. And there's still three more to go. This, complete. If anything, this this one level. No, I burped, and that's very unprofessional. Uh this one level may take up an entire episode. As much as I don't want it to, that probably will be the case. I might have to make it longer, I might have to cut it short, but I don't know. This level I don't like. As you you may you may or may not know that by now, but I don't like this level. Power shots. Power shots. I'm gonna get the last power up. I know there's four power-ups. I guess the fourth one you don't get until, like, later on. I mean, you don't really need the fourth one until later on, anyway. So. All it is is, like, a bubble shield, I think. If I remember correctly. Not really... Other than the few missiles that come at you every now and again. There's some seagulls or enemies. The only thing you really have to worry about is the missiles and the small scout boats, because even though you do have a health bar, I'm pretty sure if you let like three pass, then it's game over. Or even one. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Let's see. There we go. I was going to say, I'm having trouble uh, dealing with these things, but I'm lucky I got rapid fire. Okay, I got rapid fire with.
Oh wait, okay, there's four waves, because here's the uh, armor piercing. Here's the, uh, here's the sub-boss, I guess, or the boss of this level. It's just a gem. Covered in armor. Okay, so all you have to do is destroy its armor, and then the blimp itself. Technically, you could shoot for like the openings right here, but for the most part, it's always going to face towards you. And you gotta destroy that. As you can tell, even before it like showed up, I took out a little, a bit of a less than a quarter of its health. Oh yeah, I forgot the, ah, I forgot the hangar can ram into you at times. I got rapid fire. There we go, vulnerability. I have invulnerability and still I take out the missiles even though it won't hurt me at all. This guy to drop power-ups. Also if you shoot the butt. The butt of the blimp. Yeah, for armor, pier for armor, uh, all this armor the blimp has on it. Even if you don't destroy its front, you can still hit it for the most part. Just like take it out. There you go. Blows up, and there is your grade. Finally, that is over. Oh, here we go. Nice. High score. And... Sword upgrade. If you kill enough enemies, you will get a sword upgrade. So I'm just going to get rid of that crappy old sword I have. And get this brand new yellow one. This golden sword was forged in lead, but turned to gold by a mighty alchemist. It is heavy, but very powerful. None of what he says is actually, like... There's no attributes to your sword. It's just a sword. And it uh, color coordinates two uh, belts. So we had the white sword and now we have the gold sword. So now we can kill white enemies much faster and yellow enemies are basically white enemies. Now. Or normal enemies, I should say. And thank god, that's over. And what time... Another very unprofessional thing to do, check your time while recording. I'm at 13 minutes. Um, the thing is, the next couple levels are kind of long ones, if I do remember. And I don't want to do a long ep do like a really long episode. Especially since I just wasted most of my time doing one level. I'm going on pirate ship. Um... I guess I'm just going to cut it off there. I mean, like I said, the next f three levels are kind of long, so I'll, I'll wait till the next episode to do those levels. So, till then, <clears throat> what did we do today? Or, this episode? Mo mostly nothing, because all we did was... Uh, yeah, we did that. We went into Crane Stance. We did the uh, shoot the ships, and that's it. So next time on I Ninja, we are going to go through the through the three doors behind me, hopefully all three, and we will get more grades and hopefully even get another sword upgrade. Look at my gold sword. It's so shiny, and gold, and awesome. Let's make this uh, let's make this better color, huh? Alright, see you guys uh, then. I got a kind of bad ending.